Ready? Mm -hmm. Betty was the Hieni was the Tokaya Tinkasla Wokla Waku Dako Hetchum was the Iuha Nita Lemiachum told me a hemia, Dagnis name is Swashni, as Jim Betty Gile, Oyate Ki, Wana, Wichoni Gile, Nadako Hetchum and Iwachoni Gile Nita. O maki a yo a te wa kantanga te kaisla chi o ya te ki don wish te hechu. Good morning relatives, my name is Joanne Spotted Bear. I want to thank the Creator first. My Lakota name is Bear Woman and I do come from Wondidni. What I'm holding here is a flute that was given to me by a good friend of mine named Goat. He's a Paiute from Pyramid Lake. And what I have in front of me here is a treaty that was um, ratified by the U.S. government. And <clears throat> over here is the Gray Seal. This is the signature from National Congress for American Indians. What I have to say today is very important because it has everything to deal with the United States government. <clears throat> On one side, we have... Um, what we have here is two different stories, but mainly the same. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about is the United States government as a four-time bankrupt corporation, the uh, Revolution War, the Civil War, the Union War, and in 1933 was the United States bankruptcy. And on this side, we have <clears throat> the treaty of 1851-1868, which is this treaty here that's been ratified and never re-ratified. And when the United States went bankrupt in 1933, 12 years before the original building, it was then um, handed over to the United Nations and the United Nations never re-ratified. Therefore, the United States of America is a corporation operating under name only. The United States of America Corporation was born in 1776, whereas um, it was, it's just like the welfare office where they hand out food stamps. It's um, a, a corporation such as the welfare office cannot make states. Therefore, that was a illusion of the United States, a delusion of the United States government that has uh, um, created these states to overpower indigenous entities, our nations, and to be wiped off the face of the earth. So what happened is what the government did not expect was the great Lakota nation, the great Tetuan nation, to be, um, have as many Lakota, Nakotas, or, or Dakotas across the land, where at one time we used to go from all the way from um, South Carolina all the way up into Canada through um, um, that, uh, almost by Denver all the way up into Canada where it uh, almost touched Alaska. And during this history time, um, uh, the first way I know how to start it is this. <clears throat> um, uh, Custer, General Armstrong Custer, was supposed to make sure that the train went all the way across the United States. However, he went 300 miles out of his way into Montana where he got killed. <clears throat> and in return, the white man government um, got the army together to kill those who killed Custer and they blame Bigfoot. At <clears throat> this time, um, before anything, I, I wanna um, try to stick to what I'm saying. There's so much in history that, that you try to stick to the basics. So what I wanna do is I wanna stick to the treaty and I wanna stick to, to what is here. 
Okay, what we have here is, um, is uh, <clears throat> we have um, the United States has a, has a unique legal and political relationship with the Indians. Um, we are known as Indians or indigenous or Lakotas and there's 564 federal recognized tribes where Obama promised to meet with 564 federal rec recognized tribes while he was in office and he um, met with them for two years and the last four years failed to do so. This next one, it, um, uh, in Article 6, Clause 2, it states that treaties are supreme law of the land. Treaties started in 1059 before Christ and the original treaty is the Ten Commandments, whereas in the Ten Commandments it says, Thou shalt not steal. Okay, so right here in, in um, the, the Public Law 95-608, it says that Indians have a right to self-govern. Um, okay, so it says that the, the Clause 3, se uh, Section 8, Article 1 of the United States Constitution provides that the Congress shall have power to regulate commerce with Indian tribes and through, uh, and through this and other constitutional authority, Congress has uh, primary power over Indian affairs. However, when the United States government went bankrupt, they done lost all that power. They gave it away. And then um, right here, we have um, where United States was named after Americo Vespucci. Americo Vespucci died in 1512 of syphilis. And this is what's really important around the world. Although many of you know the truth, if you believe in God or Inshallah or Tukashallah or whoever it is, if you can't tell the truth, then there, then what's the use of talking about heaven? If, if you're going to steal from uh, people who done you no wrong and kill them and run an exile pipeline through this land, um, then you're... you're um, what you're preaching is you're, you're preaching a, a false prophet and you're willing to kill anybody and everybody that stands in your way. Another one is <clears throat> um, corporations have no say. Pine Ridge, Oglala, Lakota, Sioux Tribe is a delinquent according to the IRS. And therefore, um, when it comes to the Native Indian people right here, this document, it's written in both English and in Lakota, and what happened is they used to um, take our Lakotas and tell them one thing in Lakota, and then in English they tell them another thing. But those of us who was bilingual, we can we can talk both English and Lakota, and we understood. But those of us who understood English, Lakota, and politics, then we really understood what was going on. So I asked my aunties and my uncles and all my relatives to please bear with me, to, to help and never stop praying for our Lakotas. Mini Wichoni, that sacred water, Unchiwaka, Mother Earth, our people, our relatives, our seventh generation. Um, thank you for always showing me and, and helping me to learn what was taught to us, the peyote ways, the, the chanupa, the eagle feathers, the drum, the way of life for our people so that we can continue to live and, and teach our people to live. And say thank you for that in that good way. And thank you for video recording this. And I uh, hope you, I taught you something.